The punch out we bo- the punch out we boot was made by Next Level Games. The uh, the highly regarded Punch Out Wii was put out and developed by this company, like uh, the company that had just that has just been acquired by Nintendo. It is my favorite entry in the series. It's one of my favorite games on Wii. Uh, probably one of the more difficult games I own, to be completely honest with you, because I I still haven't won every cent of it. Um, I, I'm working on it. I, I got it off my shelf recently, so I think I am gonna uh, stream it at some point and demonstrate it. But um, this is a really, really good recreation of the NES original. Um, it stays true to the original, like maybe a little bit too much in some ways. I mean, like, uh, but uh, they add a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of new animations, a lot of new, uh, a lot of new modes, a lot of new features, uh, a lot of more, uh, a lot more color, a lot more personality that really makes this game absolutely shine right like uh, ab- it's an absolute joy to play through this thing even though it kind of suffers from the punch out problem of being a little bit too short even if you like fight all the boxers go through the title defense mode and go through the challenge like unless you're like uh trying to go through like the ridiculous expedition mode and trying to get every single medal it's, it's kind of a short romp which is kind of a shame but it boy is it difficult and boy, is it fun! It is. It is addicting. Like picking this up and learning it. It's a uh, one of my. I remember playing this for the first time in a in a GameStop. I think it was, and being really confused at how it worked because because I had never played this series before. And like um, learning how to go through it, like learning how to fight all these boxers. I just I just couldn't put it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like once I got the hang of it, I was just like, wow, this this game is really something quite special. Um, found it very very enjoyable um again like uh, it's kind of orthodox for a next level game uh, it's not it doesn't stick out from the crowd the way that like luigi's mansion 3 or federation force does i, I think uh, it's very similar to the original i think it's like a a very straightforward sequel, but it's one that works very 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 well i love this game and uh, i would really really pull for a sequel from them from the same developer um i think it's been long enough like i'm not sure how they would do it i don't want i wouldn't want them to like reuse the same boxers like i would want them to like really really make something grand and new but i'm I'm not sure how that's like how they can make that appealing like it's just uh, maybe they'll figure something out maybe they'll surprise me like i would personally want a new punch out but the way I feel it, like, Punch-Out is one of those things that's, like, it's a once in a blue moon kind of thing. Like, <laughs> like, like you, you can't really make Punch-Out games all the time. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a really good RPG or a really good, a really good Mario game. Like, it, it's just not going to happen, right? You just uh, got to wait for the right time and the right techno- technological advances. Uh, I would love a Punch-Out sequel. I love this series. I love this IP. I love this developer, but... Uh, Maybe not now. Um, personally, I I think ideally I would want to wait next level to make a new IP.